you know, the Air Force, I served in the Air Force. One of our quotes is, work smarter, not harder. Right. And we're not smart right now with our military. We think having an effective military is spending billions and billions of dollars. I think there's a data out there that shows that we spend more than seven other nations in yeah. regards to our military. That is insane. That is ridiculous. The fact that we're spending that amount of money on our military, when we can be smarter with the, at technological advancements, with automation, with so much occurring, how about we actually focus on diplomacy, actually invest in diplomacy on a national and local level? Because again, we're seeing that Rahm Emanuel, our current mayor, he just allocated over $95 million for our police forces. Now I'm positive policing, I'm positive firefighters, you know, I love community policing, but I, again, I believe in accountability. You can have RoboCop walking those streets. Unless you invest in community, unless you invest in diplomacy, unless you invest in building relationships and truly understanding whether it's your opposition or an ally, we're not going to make a difference. So we can spend billions and billions of dollars. If we don't engage in diplomacy, it's going to do nothing. So instead of investing all that money into our military, we can be taking that and truly investing it in our educational system. There you go. Truly investing it in our people. But we're seeing Betsy, you know, again, taking money away, eliminating our before and after school programs, pushing for the privatization of our educational system. Because, again, for so many people, it's about profit. They want to profit off of education. They want to profit off our criminal justice system. They want to profit off our military. War means money. Right. Well, right. For so many. You know, war means support for so many. Some people start war simply to garner support from their base. We, our country seems to make a habit of it since 1953. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. But we have to work smarter, not harder. And I guarantee you, if we invest in our educational system and invest in our youth, stop fear-mongering, because what does it make America great again? What is again? The 1940s, 50s? <laughs> you know, what are we talking about? Slave, slavery? Right, no one Women, knows. You know, like, what is again? We're fear-mongering right now, and I understand that so many people are afraid of the future. I get it. But we have to embrace the future like we see other nations doing. They're embracing technology. They're embracing automation. Yes. We yes. need to do that as well. And we truly allocate our funds to moving forward, not moving backwards. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. I mean, it, it's deep. So, yeah, I've seen fraud, waste, and abuse in the military. I love my military. I salute the individuals. I was no hero, but I definitely indeed served with heroes. But I guarantee you there's fraud, waste, and abuse that occurs in our military in the past and currently. And we need to hold them accountable as well. Absolutely.